Yeah, so it, it seems like you are very, like, more like a perfectionist with your craft, but you're also a very creative person and, like, out-of-the-box kind of uh, person, you know? So when you are, like, listening to music, do you mainly listen, like, to local people, underground people, stuff like that? I always get hate for this shit. But every, like, new album that comes out, I almost never listen to it. Like, the big ones, almost never. Next, besides Tyler's last project, I really just don't listen to full projects at all. Like, that. I don't think I listen to his old shit. Mm. Uh, J. Cole, Drake, Kanye, they all dropped this year. I might listen to Kendrick's. I really fuck with Kendrick. Um, I will admit, J. Cole's extremely talented. Drake's extremely talented. Kanye's extremely talented. I get... A certain amount of inspiration from Kanye's early work. Obviously, like I was coming up during like the fucking college dropout days and shit like that, so it's cool. Um, but I don't. I tap. I listen to a lot of local music. Like I'm on SoundCloud, or like if someone uh, taps me into an obscure ass artist that isn't necessarily local but underground, I'm gonna listen to them over mm. Drake or. Little baby, little baby's fire, fire. One of the best artists, like. But I don't put a little baby like that. Bro. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. I just like listening to real. Well, you, you have a you have a Glock Star shirt on, of course. Yeah. So that's why I asked you. You listen to a lot of them, and yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, I got a couple like favorite artists around here, definitely that I can listen to because it's my type of music. Like, it's no offense to other people. But like Glock Star Demi and shit like that definitely has that different kind of like, I don't know, you'd be rapping about like just fashion and shit and like cool shit, like grips, <laughs> all that. The bars make sense in my head and the flow is cool, it's different. The beats are picked well, you know, they're obscure, different samples and shit like that. I like that kind of shit. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna tap into him more than, you know what I'm saying? Like, the next person that makes a good pop song, pop rap, which I fuck with, but I don't listen to pop rap like that. So it's like, yes, you're talented, it's a great song, but I'm not gonna, you know? I got those, those balances. So I'll be listening to like Demi, uh, Joey the Kid, a lot of plastic boys and shit that are turned, they like just yelling about shit. <laughs> I, like bar, I like bars mixed with turn. So, with that, just switching to the producer side of it, like I know you said, those are the people that you listen to, and you, you know, you have a good time listening to that you prefer to um, go to, but with producers, do you actually, like, collab with producers? Like, do you make different beats with other producers? Absolutely. I'm very in tune with uh, the local producer scene. I try, to, I try to keep as much attention on around here as possible. So everybody who gets a beat made and they tag the producer and they're from around here, I try to add them, try to tune in and shit. So I'm big on collabing. Um, I'm not always great with this, but I try to send loops out to people, like little melodies and shit like that so they can do their own drum shit and then we have something that we worked on together. Um, I'm not great at <laughs> mm. collabing, but I love to do it. When people send me loops and shit like that because I like different styles. Because you send some shit out and you don't hear, you hear your style on it, you know what I'm saying? You hear what you would do to it. And then you send it off to another producer and they do some other shit that you wouldn't even fucking <laughs> yeah. It blows your fucking mind. I love that every time. Yeah. Like it doesn't cease to amaze me and get me excited to collab and shit like that. I love this shit. For yeah. <laughs> what are some things that like, as a producer, because me as a, uh, me as a photographer, cameraman, uh, things like that, and, just like journalist, media guy, I get a lot of um things that piss me off. Like when like rappers that like come to me, you don't have to tell me who or anything like that, obviously. But what are some things that you like annoy you when rappers ask about beats or things like that that maybe you think that other producers could probably relate to? <laughs> There's a certain balance between like knowing what you want and being overly specific about shit, I feel that always pisses producers off. It has to. Like, there's no way I'm the only person frustrated about this shit. 
Like, it's cool. It helps to have somebody who knows has the vision. Like, I want this to sound like this. I want this sample cut here and moved here and blah, blah, blah. But when it's like you do that exact shit, and they're like, nah, I don't like it no more. <laughs> like, move that back. At that point, you're just like, nah, I don't fucking... I don't know about other people. At that point, I'm like, I don't know if I want to work on this no more, bro. Like, my motivation dies pretty quickly, <laughs> which is my downfall. But, like, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 love, I love people who know what they want, but don't fuck it. Especially for my prices. Right now, I ain't charging that much for a producer. I try to really put people in perspective of like, niggas are charging 100 bands for beats out in the industry. And that's mm. low. <laughs> like, yeah. That's low. For exclusive rights, too? Like, come yeah. on, bro. I'm just trying to, and people get on me all the time, like, I'm still lowballing. But I like the creation at the same time. Like, I try to enjoy it as much as possible. I want to hear this shit. Like, even if someone pays me for something, if they don't release it, I'm still tight. <laughs> I'm still mad if I never hear the song. Like, the money was cool, but I want to hear the fucking final project. Like, I want to hear what you made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that shit, bro. So you get, like, frustrated when... So basically, it's just like when rappers, they ask for something, and you kind of give it to them, and they're just like, fuck it, now, nah, never mind. Because, like, locally, bro, what I'm charging is kind of a lot. I see that. I respect it. We're all struggling artists around here really got it like that mm. so it's like I understand we all are human you know so other than that bro niggas just be picky if you could if you <laughs> could tell <laughs> if you could tell <laughs> if, if there was one thing like piece of advice you could give rappers to like make uh, producers lives a little bit more easier like what would that be get good get good yeah. I don't know just I cause I can look at it from both perspectives I can rap on almost anything almost mm -hmm. and I say that with confidence um, there was a couple uh, somebody sent me some shit recently to get on I was like I can't make this sound good I'm sorry it's gonna sound corny yeah. no matter what I write to it bro like I can't do it but um yeah no I've just always been really versatile I've always tried different shit rapped on different shit sang on different shit so when I make a beat in my head I can rap over it I got it cool 